Howdy folks, howdy, Sean Brock back with you. Ask you to please subscribe if you haven't done so. Um, I don't want to do this for no reason, so if this helps you out, you learn anything from any of these videos, I'd appreciate it if you uh, just subscribe so I know, and if there's something you want to learn, uh, please leave me a comment. Today we got something a little bit different, and this is a pick comparison uh, there's several of these I've watched a few videos of, of folks doing them but I thought I would add to the fracas and we're going to compare a tortoise shell pick a blue chip TPS 40 and a Dunlop Alltech 1.0 and all three of these are right at the one millimeter mark. The tortoise is as close as to one millimeter as you can get it, just depending on where you hit it with a micrometer. But we're going to compare these. Now, a little history. Um, back in the day, tortoise shell picks used to be kind of the, the most popular thing you could buy. And then sometime in the 70s, uh, acquisition of such became illegal and I've I've even seen this play out I've, I've known of a couple of people who who were uh, arrested and charged with federal crimes for mar marketing in uh, tortoise shell guitar picks so uh, you can research the laws on that to your own fulfillment uh, you can still find them and they can be sold, but there are a lot of a lot of exceptions uh, and a lot of red tape you have to go through. Nonetheless, I've, I've played with tortoise shell picks for close to 25 years now, and I don't know what the price would be if you uh, found one to purchase nowadays. I would guess that if it's of decent quality, it would be around 50 bucks. Uh, maybe a little less than that, but I would say 50 United States dollars. Blue chip, on the other hand, is a, uh, they've, they've been on the market for quite a while now, and I've had a few of them. My personal favorite, which they don't seem to be making anymore, is the TP45. Um, they do make a TPR that has the rounded corners, but uh, not a straight triangle uh, in, in the 45. And they are played by various talented and uh, prosperous great players. Um, but $35 is a high price for a pick. If you, know, if you can buy Dunlops and they do what you want them to do for... Uh, I don't know, four bucks for a six pack, something like that. Um, then do you want to spend $35? What's the advantage of spending $35? Well, for one thing, they wear a lot longer. Now, the, the Alltech Dunlops get quite a bit of wear. They, they really are long lasting for what they are. Uh, and I saw a video where a guy touted that a blue chip lasted him about six months. And I guess he's a little different than me or most people that I know because I know people that have played the same blue chip pick for um, six, seven years. And I'm talking about uh, heavy, heavy playing and they're, they're still going on it. So... But at the end of the day, it's all in the sound and it's all in the feel. So let's just do a little something something here to try to examine these three picks. I'm going to start out with the tortoise shell triangle one millimeter. We'll do just some light. That's the tortoise one millimeter. Upside, they sound great. Downside, 
the long arm of the law might find you. Here is the blue chip, and this is a TPS 40. Again, one millimeter, and the TP stands for triangle pick. The S stands for small, but uh, the size is the only difference. It's one millimeter. That's the same thing as just the TP40. And let's try the same thing on that. Now the Dunlop. Cheapest pick of them all. Perfectly legal. 1.0 Altec Dunlop. So let's go through these just one more time for a second. Um, that's the Dunlop. Blue chip. Tortoise shell. Strum a few chords, tortoise shell. Blue chip. Back to the tortoise one more time. Notice how it's a little bit brighter than the uh, than the blue chip. Here's the Dunlop. time on the blue chip. So there you have it. A few a few licks. To me, let's see if you can hear it. Um, especially on the bass strings, the blue chip is just a little bit warmer. to say the tortoise and then let's go back to the blue chip one more time Definitely some more warmth on the uh, on the top three strings. To me, that's one of the big differences. Here's the Tor Tortec Dunlop. Back to the blue chip one more time. And to me, that's the big one of the biggest differences. Um, nobody gave me anything to do this video. I paid for uh, this specific uh, 
blue chip. Um, and it's not my job to say whether you should or shouldn't pay $35 for a pick. I mean, I've got a $175 capo hanging on my headstock, so I can't, you know, I can't say what is or isn't a justified purchase. Uh, for me personally, um, I'm a tortoise man, and I will uh, seek it out in legal ways. Uh, you can still find antiques, jewelry boxes, and things of that nature, hair brushes, and uh, acquire those legally and cut them down and make your own picks. And hopefully I will uh, have enough stocked back to last me until I die. Um, tortoise is a little stiffer. It's also, if you... Uh, if you do the picks right and you buff them right, they're they're a lot slicker than either the Tortex or the uh, the blue chip. Now the upside to the blue chip to me is it does stick to your fingers a little bit, uh, and it's it's very very comfortable. I think that blue chip puts the best bevel of any pick maker that I've tried. Uh, just out of the box, they're very speedy, and uh, you know that's that's worth a lot. Uh, to me, though, there's just and this you know mileage varies. What you are looking for in tone probably varies from what I'm looking for. Uh, but I like kind of a brighter, snappy tone. <laughs> It's just a touch warm uh, in the bass, and it's a touch warm on rhythm for me. You know, the tortoise, there's a little more, you can hear that percussiveness off the string. Uh, and that's, I like that. Here's the blue chip. See, it's a little less, just a little less percussive. Um, and of course, the Altec, they're, they're cheap, they're plentiful. Uh, so I hope this kind of helps you make a decision. I, I would not discourage you from buying uh, anything. But, uh, you know, just talking about personal preferences, uh, I believe that the blue chip plays very well. I think it sounds very well. Um, I think that anytime you buy boutique picks you need to make sure and be very careful with them not to lose them I can't tell you the the number of people that I've been in jams with or on stage with who have dropped one and it's went down between two boards on a deck or something like that and you know there you go 35 bucks is gone uh, so just be mindful of that the same with tortoise it's a big investment you need to take care of it um, you, you know, it's, it's kind of a hard hit to go out and play a gig on a $35 pick and, and your own carelessness, you lose it. Um, but that's that's kind of my thoughts. Blue chips are, are really good. They are. They, they play good. They sound good. Uh, to me, there's, a, there's still a, dark, a stark difference in them and tortoise shell, but uh, there's a stark difference in the legality of it all as well. So anyway... Hope this helps you guys, and subscribe if you haven't done so. Leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks, guys.